Hey everyone, it's JR Huber. This is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the fully functional 3x3x5. Now this was a requested tutorial, so let's just jump right into it. Now for this cube, you're going to need to know how to solve a standard 3x3 and a 3x3x2. And if you don't know how to solve a 3x3x2, I'll have a link right here or in the description down below. So before we start, I'm going to go over the, no the notation that we, uh, I'm just going to be using in this cube. So when I, whenever I say R2, it means to turn the right face, this face, two times, like that. So one full 180 degree turn. And it doesn't matter if you do R2 like this, or R2 like this. It doesn't matter. And so whenever I say U, it means to turn the top face, the up face once clockwise like that. U prime means to turn it counterclockwise like that. And then whenever you have an uppercase U followed by a lowercase U like this, then it means to turn two layers. So UU would look like that, and UU prime would look like that, and UU2 would look like that. So, the same thing goes for D. So this is D, D prime, D2, D, 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 D prime, and D, D, 2, like that. So, now let's scramble it up, and I'll teach you how to solve it. To scramble it, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna turn um, all of these layers first before you get into the shape-shifting turns, um, because if you don't, it'll be just like a three by three and super boring. So, I'm going to scramble it like this first, like a cuboid. And after it's all scrambled like this, we can go into the shape shifting turns. So now that it's all scrambled, I'm going to teach you how to solve it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to solve it back into the cuboid shape. And to do this, you just solve it just like a normal 3x3. Three three. So, but it doesn't matter the colors. Like, when I'm building my cross here, um, and I get my, my cross, um, done, as you can see there, uh, it's not, what well, it's not all white, but, um, uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, we're just trying to get it back into the cuboid shape. It doesn't matter the uh, the color of the pieces. What does matter, though, um, you can put in your corners now. What does matter is putting in the middle layer right here. You want to put in all of those pieces correctly. So this piece needs to go here. So I know from the beginner's method, the algorithm to put that piece in. And then this piece goes in here, and this one in here, and this piece in here. So now that we have um, these parts done, now all that's left is the top layer. So, um, you can do the top layer uh, however you want. If you use the beginner's method, you just want to get your cross. Then, uh, uh, don't worry about the step that gets all the cross pieces in the correct place. And also, don't worry about the step that uh, puts all the corners in the correct place. And then you can just orient the corners. And if you know full, p uh, full OLL, then you can just take a look at the cube and do the case that goes along with the case that you have on the top. I use a two look OLL. So first I get my cross and then I look at the corners and as you can see this is the soon case so I do the algorithm. And there's no need for PLL. So um, now we're back into a cube shape and we have this middle layer here solved. That's our goal. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, solve this layer here and this layer here these two layers just like we would solve a 3x3x2 so I'm going to show you how to do that 
you're gonna want to forget about the top and the bottom layer just pretend they're not even there and we're gonna work on our cross so we're gonna want to get all of our cross pieces in right here so um, the way we're gonna do that is on a um, 3 by 3 by 2 what you would do is uh, just take this cross piece and just flip it down like that when it's matched up with its color but we're not going to do that here because when we flip it down here it creates parity so what you're going to want to do is take the piece match it up with its color and then bring the piece to the front right here bring this piece up and then bring it into position right here and bring it down and that puts this piece in without creating parity and you can do that for the rest of your cross pieces until you have all of your cross pieces in so um, now we're going to do um, the corner pieces which are these pieces right here and uh, for each piece that we put in there's two of them there is this piece right here and this piece right here it has the same color on them and although they look the same they're actually different as you can see this piece here when matched up with its colors the colors are flipped but this piece when matched up with its colors is not is not flipped and so you are going to look for the piece that is flipped from the original colors and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this um, in this uh, above where it needs to go down here and uh, then you're going to do this algorithm R2 UU R2 UU prime R2 and as you can see that does create parity but to fix this parity all we do is we rotate the bottom layer until we get another corner that needs to be placed like a, a slot that needs a corner to be placed in and so we locate the corner, here's the corner, and this is also the correct corner because the colors from these two colors here, colors are flipped. And so when we use the algorithm to put it in, it'll flip it down to here and it'll match up. And the algorithm again is R2, UU, R2, UU prime, R2. And um, then we can do the same thing right here. And then once more right here. And then just fix the bottom. And there we go.